And now we want to get an update on what is top of mind for many of us, the power grid. Chris Lawrence joins us live in our studio this afternoon for a look at grid conditions and some of the problems we're seeing with natural gas. Chris, Atmos is asking everyone to cut back. Yeah, Izzy, in other words, don't use your fireplace and lower the thermostat to 68 degrees. Uh, right now, the grid is doing fairly well. You can see the, uh, the demand there is actually below where the supply is, so we're still in good shape. But Atmos does expect high demand well into Christmas Eve. Uh, demand actually peaked early this morning at around 74,000 megawatts, a, a lot higher than the 70,000 megawatts officials predicted. In fact, it broke a record uh, during the infamous winter storm when millions of Texans lost power. Demand peaked at about 69,900 megawatts. But that record doesn't account for how much power Texans might have used because of the blackouts. Now, since then, ERCOT and the Public Utility Commission, which regulates the grid operator, have made improvements following that storm. There are some outages in North Texas right now, as you can see from the numbers there on your screen. And officials at Encore tell us they have already dispatched crews to respond, although the outage is about 10,000 right now. Most of the significant issues are in central Texas, but some viewers have told us they've reported issues with their natural gas and are unable to heat their homes, mostly due to low pressure. Uh, the city of Grand Prairie opened a warming center to help residents who need a place to stay, and we reached out to Atmos Energy. They haven't reported any outages, but are asking customers to conserve natural gas to help maintain the level of service. They also tweeted that they are experiencing high call volume, so there is likely to be a significant wait time if you need to speak with an agent. So again, don't use your natural gas fireplaces. Lower your water heater temperature to 120 degrees. And while you're at it, take it easy on the showers. That accounts for about 40% of your home's hot water use. And if possible, refrain from using large appliances like the washer, dryer, oven, and dishwasher. Izzy.